Do you remember the time of silent movies? Did you know that Clara Bow was one of the most famous actresses of that time, and that her career extended into the world of talkies? Well, that is only one of the amazing things this doll face did, and if you stick around, you'll learn much more. Before we start this video, consider subscribing. We are always happy to see someone new join our community, and we are always excited to chat with you in the comment section down below. We hope you have fun watching this video and getting nostalgic over silent movies. The exact date of her birth is unknown. It's hard not knowing the exact date when someone is born nowadays, but in the tens, they didn't keep track of things as they do now. It is still not clear in which year exactly Clara was born, since the US census records for each decade are different. Some say that she was born between 1910 and 1920, while the one from 1930 says she was born in 1906. However, when they did thorough research, the majority decided on the year 1905. Clara was the only child of her parents despite being the third born. Her two siblings before her passed away when they were still infants. And despite the doctor warning her mother that she is better off not having children than losing another one, she didn't give up. And in July 1905, during a heat wave, Clara was born, and very healthy at that, preferred the company of boys. Since she started school, Clara preferred being around boys rather than girls. While she attended Bay Ridge High School for girls, she liked to wear oversized sweaters and old skirts, keeping her hair short, and hated being treated like one of the girls. It wasn't until her mother's health deteriorated that she decided to grow her hair out and look more feminine. However, that didn't stop her from acting like she was one of the boys, and said that she would probably continue if one of her best friends, who was a boy, wouldn't kiss her and made her see that no matter what she wears, she could never truly be like them, and had to leave her tomboy phase behind her, from acting like a boy to acting. When the first film was shown in the cinema in 1895, its popularity grew every year. At the beginning of the 20s, half of Americans visited the cinema every week. Clara was one of them, and going to the movies for her was an escape, looking more like a woman each day when she hit puberty not loving the school she attended, and not having the most wonderful home situation, going to see a film was like a blessing each week. But when most sat back and enjoyed the moving pictures, Bo liked to compare herself to the actors and think how she would perform. Every time she came home from the cinema, she acted out the scenes that she remembered best, and by the age of 16 knew that she wanted to be an actress, even though, in her opinion, she didn't have the right face for it. Her start in silent films. After her first role in the movie, Beyond the Rainbow, Clara struggled to get another part. They told her that she was too young or not pretty enough. Bo, however, was determined to make it in the business and knew that the right role for her will come along. Lucky for her, her tomboy personality was needed in Elmer Clifton's Down to the Sea in Ships. Bo impressed the director so much that he simply couldn't say no to her, getting her $50 per week for the film. The Rising Star of Movie Critics with Clifton's movie, the critics said that she was a rising star and that there is no doubt she will become very famous. They were impressed with her performance and couldn't stop writing about her, saying that they can't wait to see her on the screen again. The critics were mesmerized with her beauty, her wit, and that she is so talented when it comes to acting that they would be surprised if she won't start getting more than one movie part per year. From 1922 to 1924, Bo appeared in seven motion pictures and earned herself the title of being the most successful baby star when she was just 19, which wasn't a surprise for anyone, since she always showed pure emotions on the screen, could cry when asked to do so, and always had positive energy no matter how hard her day was, working for preferred pictures. In 1923, Clara decided to leave everything behind in New York and moved to Hollywood where she became a part of preferred pictures. Her first movie with the studio was Maytime in 1923, and before they were even done filming, she landed another role in the movie Poisoned Paradise. She was allowed to work for First National Pictures and was able to play next to Colleen Moore in Painted People. The director, Frank Lloyd, had more than 50 girls to audition for the part, but the second Bo was suggested to star in the movie, he knew that she was the right one. Hollywood Rivalry As with every job, there is rivalry in show business. Much more successful Colleen Moore wasn't happy when she found out that Clara was going to be her co-star in Painted People. With more and more people talking about Bo every day, Colleen was afraid that Clara would outdo her. 
Colleen purposefully blocked the director from shooting any of Bo's scenes. Since Colleen's husband was the producer of the film, Bo couldn't do much but try her best to finish filming. Unfortunately, due to her sinus problems, she had to go to the doctor. And even though she said it won't be an obstacle while she films, her being with bandages over her face, the studio had to replace her, making Colleen win. Paramount's Biggest Star In 1926, Bo signed a contract with Paramount. People went to see a movie not because of the story, but because of her memorable performance. Even though Paramount's contract was supposed to last for only six months, the second that time ran out, they extended her contract for five years. While with the studio, Clara appeared in Rough House Rosie, Get Your Man, and It, among other movies. Because of her outstanding performance in the latter movie, she earned the nickname, The It Girl. The reviews for the film all said that the movie was made for her because she does indeed have that something special. By 1927, she was Paramount's biggest star, and was so powerful that the movie Wings she starred in was rewritten just so that she could play a part in it, and she definitely killed it with the role, because the movie got an Academy Award for Best Picture. The Talkies Transition Like most silent actors, Clara didn't like the transition from silent films to suddenly using her voice. In her opinion, the talking in movies took away from the action, and without the action, the movie loses its magic. Besides having to adjust to talking and learning lines, Bo became nervous on sets because she kept looking at the dangling microphone above her head. She couldn't get used to it being there and said that it ruined the atmosphere of the set. Her movies kept doing well at the box office. However, public scandals, the pressure of Hollywood, and overworking herself finally got to Clara in the 30s. Wanting to keep a sane mind, she asked Paramount to terminate her contract after her part in City Streets to which they obliged and she ended her career at merely 25 years old. The World After Acting With her career being over, Clara settled down and had two children with her husband, Rex Bell. Through the years, Bo became more and more antisocial and had mental problems. She didn't want to talk to her husband, but refused to let him outside their house alone. In 1949, she was admitted to the Institute of Living to get better. The doctors there couldn't decide on a unified treatment, as some said that she had schizophrenia, others said she was an insomniac. Bo didn't want to hear of any diagnostic and decided to leave the institute. She did not return to her home, however, but decided to live alone in a bungalow. Clara spent the last years with a nurse and in 1965 passed away due to a heart attack. We think that Clara Bo was simply remarkable and left a legacy that not many can live up to. She was bright, beautiful, and always positive, and remembered even after a century. Comment down below what fact about Clara was the most interesting to you, and check out our channel for more videos like this.